Marathon Swim Shorts is brought to you by Intrepid Water. Are you ready to start swimming places? Connect with like-minded swimmers in our virtual group coaching program to learn everything you need to know to complete your next big swim. From training and feed planning to fine-tuning your technique. Find out more at intrepidwater.com. Um, what is the swim that you're most proud of that you've done? Um, the Minch swim two years ago. So the Minch is, there's a north and a south. The south has been swum before with a couple of swimmers in wetsuits, but nobody's done it skins. Um, it's from one of the Western Isles to the mainland. Um, I'd done one from Ork, the Pentland Firth to Orkney to the mainland a couple of years ago, but it's a shorter swim, but the tides are horrendous. So over the years, I've been looking at the Minch, but everybody said it wasn't doable because of the temperatures and the distance and the tides. I really did it and then there was a few of us started to look at it so three of us set off two years ago to be the first people to swim the minch so to give a little perspective when I jumped in the first thing I saw was just jellyfish it was just this, just jellyfish everywhere the water temperature was nine degrees centigrade I don't know what that is Fahrenheit it's quite cold oh, yeah. 48 yeah 48 so it was nine at the Thank you. So it was that at the start. It went up to 14 in the middle and it dropped back down to 10 at the end. Um, it was a 27 mile swim. Um, I didn't move for the last five miles. So a lot of years ago, I learned the hard way in the English Channel is never look up and never look behind you and then you don't know where you are. And I think that that really hit home during that swim because I got stuck in the tides to get to the finish. And the problem with the finish was we were wanting to be the first people to swim the North Minch and we were sitting on the boundary of the North and the South Minch. So where I had to finish was north of the lighthouse and we were sitting in line with the lighthouse. So we're fitting, fighting the tide. So I took five and a half hours to swim the last mile and a half because of the tides. Everybody else on the boat were like, what's going to happen? How is she keeping on going? I was oblivious. I didn't even know that I was that close because I never, for the cup. So I always just look to the side, take my feet from a kayak or speak to the boat if I need to and carry on swimming. So I was oblivious. Everybody else was suffering more than I was suffering. Um, but that was the reason why, because I don't look up. My kayaker thought he'd never been with a swimmer before. Um, he's now a really good friend. He stayed, he paddled the whole 18, I think it was 1846, so 18, nearly 19 hours Brian was with me. And he was getting really worried at feeds because I was swimming backwards, I was swimming the wrong direction. But the wind was catching his boat, so he thought I was looking up, but I was just looking at him, taking my feeds, and then swimming off in the direction his boat was in. So I ended up swimming behind and stuff as well. But that swim, yeah, it was an interesting one. Jellyfish right the way through, cold, windy, wavy, but yeah, it's definitely my favourite swim, and I would go back tomorrow if I was asked. Wow. North Channel's probably similar as well, and yeah, I would go back tomorrow if I got an opportunity. There's just something magical about those longer, tougher swims, especially the ones that you're first, because nobody knows whether it's doable or not. Um, one of the guys I swam with that day got lost by his crew. I don't really know why, how I ended up having to get the Coast Guard because it was pitch black and we lost him. And that kind of made that swim harder. Um, I'd finished by that point, but at the end, for recovery and stuff, it was a bit strange. But Colin went back and swam it last year with a wetsuit. But he said it was easier because they knew it was done. So I think the longer, tougher swims or the ones that people have done before, there's something that appeals to me about them. That's amazing. I love that. Thank you for sharing that story.